Level 100 Mile Queen, let's see what we can do. And she's dead. And I have mystery meat. Hey fellow vault dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have for you amazing automatic melee build, insane carry weight, insane damage, everything that you want and it is super tanky at low health. Now, here is everything, step by step, my special distribution first for my melee build. This is a base special before application of legendary perks. Strength is maxed out intentionally. Now let's jump into the perks. Legendary perks. There is a lot of legendary special. There is luck, strength, endurance, intelligence and agility. To be absolutely honest, you could possibly, let's say, drop one of those special and add poison resistance. I have enough perk points and spare cards, so I basically change taking one for the team for poison resistance when I really need it otherwise I run without poison resistance and it works good for most part as long as there is no poison on daily op you are good you will not get killed there is poison on daily op you need poison resistance now all other perks you can probably notice that under strength I have only incisor for my damage and there is a reason for that. Most of your damage boost comes purely from your strength. So you don't really need slugger perks. You can use them. Personally, I choose to carry way more stuff. So I have traveling pharmacy, bear arms and ordnance express. I could use slugger perks instead in here. And this will give me a little bit more damage. Yeah, a little bit, not much, that's true. Then I have blocker. This is essential for your survivability. Next, we go under perception. I have butcher's bounty when I'm hunting stuff and green thumb, that's for farming ingredients. When I'm not farming ingredients, I will swap that and I will use either concentrated fire or I can swap in glow sight if I want even more damage or I can run Grenadier if I want to toss some grenades. So there is a reason I have for perception. I can keep swatch swapping those perks. There is couple useful ones. So here we go for perception. It's not necessary though. Next, under endurance, I have life giver, solar powered, fireproof and radical. Radical is very important, extra strength and solar powered. Wherever I want to use camps, I will change to cam fan. But if I'm not using camps, I'm running solar powered. Under charisma, party boy if I want to use alcohols. If I don't, I will put inspirational instead. Then stretching numbers, tenderizer and friendly fire. Friendly fire is in here because when you have a flaming mod on your auto axe or chainsaw, both those weapons work great with this build. You can heal teammates and friendly NPCs with your weapon, which is very useful quite often. Under intelligence, we have Nerd Rage, Makeshift Warrior and Batteries included. So again, Batteries included just because I like carrying more stuff. I will not need it in the future somewhere, but so far I need it because I have spare plasma cores for other day for a rainy day, so I need to carry them somehow. And makeshift warrior is important. Without makeshift warrior, automatic melee weapons actually break fast. So that is big one. Under agility, we have Fruhaika for my food. Enforcer, this is for flying creatures. When I'm not facing any flying creatures, I don't need crippling. I will put action boy instead in here. Born survival, this is a nice combo with this born survival. I don't necessarily need it as my weapon is vampire, but I like it. I will tell you in a second for what reason. White Knight, I find this perk quite necessary for a tanky melee build. My armor, I'm wearing Secret Service armor, is like made of paper without this perk. With this perk, it's suddenly like 10 times tankier. It only says 60%, but it feels like 10 times more durable. Is it me? 
or is it actually in game? Let me know how you feel with this perk. And adrenaline for a little bit extra damage. It's not even necessary. Like you could swap it for anything, but it is in here. Under luck, we have ricochet, mystery meat. That's the combo with boar survival. My boar survival triggers that I'm getting free meat without farming. As I'm carnivore, so I can cook this meat and use it for multiple buffs. And some nice, sometimes even quite rare meat can be granted to you by this spell. It is like... That do not explain much on this card, but basically, wherever you use Steampack, you have a chance to get, get a bunch of random meat added to your inventory, directly to your inventory. Then Star Jeans, uh, Super Duper, that's when I'm crafting. It shouldn't be here at this moment. At this moment, Serendipity should be here. That's the key survivability perk for non-power armor blooded builds. So this must be here. Good with salt, of course, for our meat to do not spoil. And as you can notice, there is no class freak, but that's because currently there is Mr. Meat. When I want to improve my stats, I will swap for class freak, but I'm having fun with this free meat from this pack at this moment. So either this one or class freak in here. Now mutations. What's important, adrenaline reaction, every blooded build needs more damage. Then there is bird bones for extra agility and especially slower slower fall speed you need it you don't want to fall down fast and kill yourself too often carnivore this is a must for melee from 150 to about 300 percent damage boost is easily available with melee with carnivore herd mentality extra special on group marzipial for jumping scully skin for this sweet resistance bonuses speed demon to move faster and twisted muscle to do even more damage with melee and get this crippling chance. Now the gear. About the weapon, there is one weapon that is a main weapon. At this moment, with current state of the game, my recommendation is Vampire Power Attack Damage Auto Axe with Burning Modification. Only this one, you don't need any other melee weapon. It can be Chainsaw with exactly the same stats. The third star doesn't really matter much, and you use it in first person. At least that's the situation with the game at this moment. More explanation in my other videos. I will not go eight minutes over this topic now. Then we go into armor. And armor need to be unyielding weighted modification for arms and possibly secret service. It's the best choice. You want secret service if possible. I have armor plated backpack if I would like to be even slightly more tanky, but most of the time I'm not using it. I'm actually using a carryweight backpack. I'm using a carryweight backpack, high capacity, even though it gives a little bit of a penalty to energy and radiation resistance. I can live with that. And I'm using secret service under armor because it provides you with force strength, force strength, more carry weight, more melee damage. Every point of strength is 5% of melee damage, so that's 20% melee damage. And yes, that's about as much as you would get from a slugger perk, so... That is big. If you compare three perk points to just under armor. Now, all the buffs, how to farm the buffs, uh, I will have separate video, but you can see they are giving you so much bonuses to everything. I need to refresh some. Some expired, but it's so easy to get them and you get so much of the damage boost. And look here at my damage on the stat page with just of the food consumed. So yes, it is insane because this weapon attacks multiple times, like 15 times per second or so. So that's crazy amount of damage. My resistance, as long as it's around 400, I notice it's fine. I don't need any more. You will feel significant difference if you go under 300. You will feel improvement up to 400. If you go higher to 5, 600, you will not be able to notice much of a difference. There is, but not really noticeable. So that's what are you, what you are aiming for. And now let me demonstrate this build on some enemies. Super Mutant Behemoth first. 
and maybe take a look on my carry weight 627 that's all the carry weight i need to carry my stuff wherever i want to carry it and you know that i'm addicted to picking up stuff collecting stuff and getting more stuff on me than i actually need so i love the carry weight and carry weight reduction perks yeah born survivor is triggering like stupid but that's good and he's dead so that was a quick dispatch of Super Mutant Behemoth. Uh, I have actually enough carry weight to loot everything from him. Yeah, why not? I can I can easily do that. Let, let's go only for hard enemies today. This build is so good. Uh, let's go after Myrlux. Hopefully we'll be able to survive the poison. And as I said, poison is basically the only thing that can kill me quickly. So... Everything else, I'm not afraid of at all. Oh. This is a bugged Milo crap. You cannot kill bugged enemies, unfortunately. Even with this crazy damage. <laughs> okay, let's hope the Milo Queen is not bugged. Milo Queen. There she is. Look at this jump. Level 100 Milo Queen, let's see what we can do, and she's dead, and I have Mystery Meat popping in too, that was good, she didn't manage to give me any poison whatsoever. Where are the kings? I see the king somewhere, where are you? There, that's a 3 star king, he's a hard hitter and normally super tanky, not for me. Is dead. Okay, we killed them all. Now, uh, let's go for some flying creatures. And in order to deal with the flying creatures, I have this pepper shaker. And it doesn't matter what it is. It can be even non-legendary. Nothing really matters. You just need a pepper shaker with a single barrel. This gives you so many projectile that enforcer will trigger all the time. Almost instant crippling. Just blindly fire. I will show you. And here we have Scorch Beast flying around. So far, too high. So let's make some noise. Let's hope she will fly lower. Yep. She's going for a lower approach. And now we just fire quite blindly. And that should work. Let's see. Completely crippled. All wings crippled. Which means she will be landing. Let's kill those guys. She's landing over there. Let's go after her. This is our priority. Out to axe. Scourge with level 75. And that. That's the damage. And by the way, Scourge Beast dropped really good meat pieces for every carnivore. So here's the build. There is like no enemy that will resist you. You can solo Colossus. You can solo Scourge Beast Queen with this build. You can solo any type of the content with this build. Even if you don't yet have all those legendary perks, automatic melee weapons are a good candidate. If you have been watching my live stream when I was going for Zero to Hero, then you can see me using automatic melee weapon on like very low levels as soon as I was able to use it. And it is working greatly and mystery meat keeps popping. I like it. The free meat delivery. So this is everything about automatic melee build. It is amazing build to play around. Super fun. If you give a shot for this mystery meat perk. This is a hilarious perk giving free meat for steam pack usage or wastes of steam packs. Either way, you waste steam packs, you get meat. That's how it works. I hope you'll enjoy it. If you give it a shot, let me know. And that being said, thank you lot for watching and see you all in the next one.